Are you curious to know what it's like to stay at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort? Well, let's take a look at that. Hi everyone, it's Kev from the Mouse Scout, and today we're going to explore the South Pacific, located on the East Coast at Walt Disney World. When Walt Disney World opened on October 1st, 1971, there were only two hotels at the resort, the Contemporary and the Polynesian. The Polynesian celebrates the spirit of the South Pacific with its lush landscaping, palm trees, thatched roofs, and beaches. It sits on the Seven Seas Lagoon across from the Magic Kingdom and offers great views of the park and the nighttime fireworks. You enter the two-story Great Ceremonial House where you'll find the shopping and dining options for the resort. as well as concierge services and the front desk. And if you want to learn how to skip the front desk, be sure to watch our video on how to easily check into Disney resorts using the Disney World app. I'll link the video down below. Boutique is the store where you can shop to your heart's content for tropical trinkets, Hawaiian shirts, hotel logo and surfwear, and Disney character merchandise. This is also where you'll find my favorite tiki statues. They are so cute. Up on the second floor is where you'll find Moana Mercantile. This is another gift shop where you can find more merchandise, like toys and t-shirts, as well as drinks, snacks, and sundries. Heading towards the back of the lobby and to your left, be sure to check out a few cute little friends in the windows on your way to the quick service location at the resort, Captain Cook's. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you could start your day off with Mickey Waffles or their famous banana stuffed Tonka Toast. They have coffee, beer, wine, and the unlimited refillable mugs, which are 16 ounces and great for either coffee, tea, or soda during the length of your stay. This is an amazing deal if you're staying for any length of time. They also have lots of seating both inside and outside. Further down the hall is a rather inconspicuous door that leads into Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. This is a fun tiki bar that captures the romance of the South Seas through unique food and drinks. They usually open at 3 p.m., so be sure to arrive early. I got there at 4 and there was already an hour wait. Trader Sam's welcomes the whole family, including children, until 8 p.m. when it turns into 21 and older. Back up on the second floor is Kona Island and Kona Cafe. Kona Island is where you can say aloha to coffee and pastries in the morning and then grab and go sushi later in the day. Kona Cafe is a relaxing place to enjoy a mix of Asian zest into traditional American meals and features an on-stage sushi kitchen. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner and it's another place to enjoy those famous banana stuffed Tonka Toast for breakfast. We ate here recently for dinner and enjoyed the pot stickers and the Kona braised short ribs, which were really delicious. I also got the Lapu Lapu, which they serve throughout the resort. It comes in a fresh pineapple and it's quite tasty. 
Also on the second floor is Chambu Lounge. It's a nice place to sit and relax where you can get tropical drinks and Hawaiian-inspired appetizers. And it's much easier to get a seat here than it is at Trader Sam's, but uh, not as much fun. Next to Chambu Lounge is Ohana's. And as we know from Lilo and Stitch, Ohana means family, and this restaurant serves meals family style. In the mornings, they offer an American breakfast influenced by Polynesian flavors. And if you're lucky, you may get to see a few characters along with your meal. Dinner consists of delicious dishes like grilled teriyaki beef, spicy peel and eat shrimp, grilled chicken, and Ohana noodles. And dessert is the famous bread pudding served with vanilla ice cream. I confess I've never eaten here, but I have had the bread pudding. We asked our server at Kona Cafe and they very kindly got us a piece. It was amazing. Reservations are highly recommended and quite frankly, very hard to get. So you have to persevere. Do you crave those yummy Dole Whips all year round like I do? Well, if you're at the Polynesian, you can have that tasty treat here too. Just outside the back of the lobby is the Pineapple Lanai. It's a walk-up window that serves the legendary frozen treat, as well as vanilla soft serve and Dole Whips with a rum floater. It is worth waiting in these long lines for. There are two pools at the resort. The first pool, right out the back of the Great Ceremonial House, is called the Lava Pool. It features a towering volcano, a waterfall, and a thrilling 142-foot-long water slide. It has a zero-depth entry point, making it easy for you to come and go into the water. This is also where you can find the Kiki Tiki Splash Play area for the kiddos. It looks like fun. The second pool is the Oasis Pool, nestled among lush gardens. This pool is for all ages, and it's a bit more tranquil than the lava pool. There are lots of fun activities offered at the resort. They have campfires, movies under the stars, volleyball, pool parties, lawn games, and much more. You can even take a class and make your own kukui nut lays, so be sure to check their calendars during your stay. The Polynesian is kind of big. There are 847 rooms spread among 11 longhouses. Each longhouse is named to match the relative geographic position of their namesake islands. There are many paths that wind along the thick landscape. The night we arrived, it was raining quite hard, as it can in Florida, and all I wanted to do was get to our room, which was in the building farthest from the lobby, the Maria DVC building. The paths are confusing and long when it's dark and raining, and needless to say, we got lost and quite soaked. So my point is to study that map and ask for directions before you leave the lobby, especially if it's raining. My poor sister, I dragged her into the rain when she just wanted to wait it out. She's such a good trooper. Somewhere along these paths is this laundry room. I have no idea where. There are three ways you can get to the Magic Kingdom from the resort. First and fastest is the monorail, which is located on the second floor of the Great Ceremonial House. You are two stops away from the park. This is also a great way to visit the other two resorts on the monorail loop to shop or have dinner. It's very convenient. The second is by boat. There is a boat dock out past the pools that take you directly to the front of the park. And the third way is to go directly to the Ticket and Transportation Center, which is located right next to the resort. You can catch either the monorail that takes you directly to Magic Kingdom or take one of the ferry boats. At the TTC, you can also get a monorail that takes you directly to Epcot. 
so it's easy access to two parks. To get to the other parks or areas at Disney World, there's a bus stop located right out front by the valet. Our room was in the Maria Longhouse, which is one of the DVC resort buildings. There are only two types of DVC rooms available at the Polynesian, Deluxe Studios and the insanely expensive bungalows. Each longhouse has a cute little lobby area right next to the elevator. Our room had one queen bed, one queen size pull down bed, one single pull down bed, and it sleeps up to five. The studio has two bathrooms. The first with a tub shower, toilet, and sink. And the second with a walk-in shower and sink. So if you do have that family of five in the room, it makes getting ready much easier. The kitchenette includes paper plates and bowls, paper cups, plastic utensils, microwave, toaster, a drip style coffee maker, and a small refrigerator. The artwork in the room is really cute. I fell in love with this little guy and I named him Petey. I tend to name things. Like our ice maker at home is named Sven. There are no traditional drawers in the room. There's the closet and this pull-out drawer under the bed. The bed is raised high enough so you can store your luggage under it. Now let's take a look at some of the other rooms they offer at the Polynesian. Recently, the hotel rooms were refurbished and rethemed to Moana. This is a standard two queen bedroom. This room sleeps up to five people and includes a day bed, coffee maker, in-room safe, and small refrigerator. There are 20 over-the-water DVC Bora Bora bungalows, each of which sleeps eight. They have two bedrooms, two baths, a living room, full kitchen, private deck, washer and dryers, and a little plunge pool out back. Maybe someday I'll stay in one. The Polynesian Village Resort is one of the most popular hotels at Disney World, and I can now see why. In all the years I've been going to Walt Disney World, this was always really far down on my resort list. But after having stayed there, now it's up near the top. The convenience of being on the monorail loop, the hotel restaurants, the beautiful grounds and theming, all make it an A plus for me. I highly recommend it. So now I want to hear from you. After watching this video, does it interest you? Have you stayed there and would you recommend it? Because it's not cheap, so I want to know your thoughts. Join us around the campfire and share your stories. We really appreciate you watching this video and remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to join the troop by smashing that subscribe button and hitting the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload a new video. 
because we will continue to explore what makes Disney so magical. Until next time, be safe, and remember, it's all just designed for fun.